My name is The Adipose and this is The Simpsons Tapped Out. In this video I'm going to be showing you all of the ways that you can increase your goo count before the deadline on November the 7th. Okay, my friends, well, I am very excited because I have just hit um, this morning the 10,000 goo required for all um, of the cool little prizes. And I'm going to be showing you those prizes towards the end of the video. So if you're interested in them, um, stick around and have a look at the end. Um, but I, what I want to show you is how I got there because um, I've done it in about half the time. Um, no, um, I haven't kind of used um, donuts to buy any kind of um, extra creatures and things like that. But I, I will show you what I did use donuts to do. But most of it was actually done through perfectly um, legitimate and um, free techniques so let me show you first thing obviously is you need to be tapping the ghost so if you look at that the ghost in the middle of my screen tap it now every so often um, you will uh, if you completely clear your your city of ghosts they will slowly respawn but they don't actually respawn all that fast but I would recommend that you log on to your game at least twice maybe three times a day but space them out nicely um, I basically logged on once in the morning and picked them all up and once in the evening and picked Picked them all up, and that was actually enough for me to get where I needed to go. The second thing you can do, of course, is find the haunted houses, click on them, and that will um, give you some extra goo as well. And you'll also see the person that happened to haunt that house, and that also means if you go and tap on your neighbor's houses, you'll be giving them more goo to collect. So there's definitely a community aspect here um, to doing the, to, to, to doing these. So uh, anytime you see ghost around the house, you, you, you want to click on that as well. Thirdly, um, there are certain characters that you can set goo-related tasks. Now, it isn't all of them. In fact, it's not even most of them. But it is most of the kids and most of the Simpsons uh, family. So, for example, uh, if we... In fact, here's Flanders. In fact, Flanders is actually just finishing a task here. If I click on him, he'll finish uh, watering the ghosts. And uh, he'll give me a nice bit of goo. And if I click back on him, you'll see that he has a 24-hour task that will give me 10 goo. All of the rest of the standard um, dollar ones but he has got one. The other characters no. that have one are, and excuse me if I miss one out, um, Witch Marge has one. Um, obviously she's a, she's a, a premium character. Uh, the, I think it's Yep, Martin has one. Um, Millhouse has one when he's not being possessed by ghosts, I think. Nelson has one. Bart has one. Lisa has one. Um, Homer, of course, has one. Um, Apu has one with his kind of like Hindu beliefs. And I think that is it. But do check most of the kids because most, most of the kids have a little kind of trick-or-treating task and cool little costumes to go with it as well. So um, once a day, um, set them your trick-or-treating task. And again, it'll give you kind of an extra uh, maybe 50, 60, 70 um, donuts a day. Thirdly, um, to get more ghosts. Oh, sorry, the other one I missed out is um, more Maud um, Flanders. Once, if you're going through the quest, eventually you'll unlock Maud. And once you've done her little tasks, um, if you keep going back into her, you've got another one here that says get revenge on Homer, which gives you goo, and also haunt Springfield, which gives you goo as well, and also gives this very, very cool, very, very cool um, little animation as well. Now, see these little gremlins that are running around my city? That means that someone else has put them there. Now, if I leave them, then um, they will get four. If I tap on them, then we split it to a piece. Now, at the moment, of course, I'm over 10,000. I don't really need them anymore. So you might, like me, decide, actually, you're just going to leave them. Um, but if you are still collecting yourself and wanting to get up, then if you see them, I suggest you tap on them because they're still getting goo out of it and you're still getting goo out of it. And let me just, I'll just tap on one, for example. If I just tap on this one here, you see you get this. Oh, <laughs> it turns out, turns out I can't stay, stay. There we go. Um, you can see he commits suicide like that. He bursts and then I get um, plus two goo and they'll get plus two goo as well the next time um, that they log on. You can also um, get goo by buying a few of the premium items. Once you get to, I think it's the second reward, the ancient burial ground, um, this will give you some extra ghosts um, every um, I don't know, 10, 12 hours or something like that and it gives you kind of an extra four but if you are um, willing to spend a few donuts, consider some of the, uh, the graveyard items. However, of course, we're getting a bit late on now so I would only suggest you do that if you actually really like the item themselves um, because you, you, uh, you, you know you're going to get less out of it than if you bought it at the beginning but if uh, this one for example if I click on it you can see there's actually a pretty decent amount of um, ghosts there and I'll just kind of hoover them up in a kind of a cool little way um, but that will all give you kind of extra goo and help your totals 
Um, but the biggest way um, that you're going to dramatically increase the amount of goo you get is to go to your buddies because um, you can get a maximum of 11 from each person you go to. And I'll try and show you how. Now, sadly, um, the method that I showed you guys last time of, of tapping three or four ghosts um, at the end of each one, they patched that. They've stopped that one working, which is, a, which is a real pain. But you can still try and maximize the amount you get. Let me show you, for example. Now, this house here, the all-night gym, if I tap that, then I'm not going to get any goo. Uh, oh, sorry, I apologise. If I if I tap that, then I'm going to get one goo, and I'm going to haunt it for them, which means that when they come along later, they're going to be able to get some goo out of it as well. But if I tap one that actually is already haunted by the ghosts, if I tap this, the gulp and blow right in front of you, you'll see that actually I get two goo instead of one. Um, so it, I guess it depends how helpful you want to be to them and how helpful um, and how much you just want to kind of look out for yourself. But if I was to ta if I was to search around the, the city, and sometimes it will require you searching, if I was to do that each time, that's going to give me um, two plus two plus two for the three daily hauntings, which is of course six. Then if I tap on the, the ghosts as well, uh, uh, then I should be able to get five of them. One, two, searching around, three, four, and... 5, then that's 5 plus 6, which is 11 um, for this particular visit. So therefore, every 10 friends I visit, I'm actually getting 110 extra um, goo. So if I was able to, if I if I have 20 friends, 30 friends, um, 40 friends, although it's going to be really, really time consuming, um, you can actually pick up kind of in, in excess of um, 200, 300, 400 extra goo um, a day. And just to give you a rough indication, I think I'm on, I'm on a, not on a huge amount of origin friends because I have to share it with Battlefield but I think I'm on about 25 ish um, and, and I've obviously got it in about half the time the other thing you want to be on the lookout for when you're going to other people's towns is the is can you put down um, the, the 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 gremlin creatures now you won't always be able to and if you look in the top right hand corner of the screen as we go into each city it gives you the the count for how much room they have because if they've got like 10 gremlins running around already you can't put any more down but if they've got less then you can put more down and there does actually still seem to be a, a rather bizarre glitch where you can actually get more you can put more down than you should be able to so you see this here i've got the ability to put down six here um, and so you just keep tapping them now like i said earlier if they don't find these i'm going to get four for each one I've put down. So if I put down six, six times four is 24. There's an extra um, 24 just from um, this particular one. Uh, oh, and if he does find them, that'll be halved and then I'll be getting um, 12. But you can be a bit cunning here. You can try and put them in, in places where people aren't going to find them. For example, if you, if you live in the UK and you're putting it in an American's uh, house, do it first thing in the morning because if you do it in the first thing in the UK morning, they're going to be asleep and in four hours time you'll get all of the goo. If you're an American, then do it last thing at night because then your British friends are going to be asleep and then again you're going to be you'll get the full amount of goo out of it. Now you won't always have a choice because not everyone actually has room to put the uh, the, the, the 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 goblins down. But if you are trying to be a bit tactical with it, then don't be afraid um, to kind of aim for people that don't live in the same same time zone as you. And so, just using the same little technique there, I'm trying to click on the houses which have been haunted. I'm getting my 11, putting down goblins when I can, and you'll find that you'll be picking up the goo a lot faster than you expect. And in fact, um, uh, yesterday I put up a little Facebook status saying that I was on something like 8,700, and by the time I'd actually just done my nightly routine of collecting all the stuff, um, I had actually I was something on something like 9,200. You know, I'd done f I'd got 500 goo just in that one. Um, sitting. Don't forget, save yourself time using the ghost bombs if you've got some. I know there are a limited amount, but if you only use it once or twice a day, you'll find you'll actually pick up as many, you'll pick up more than you, than you actually uh, use. And if you look at my bottom score, they're on 10,304. Kaboom! And when it, it all picks, when it all picks itself up in the minute, you'll see that I've probably got a quite a decent um, little haul of um, goo here, and it should come flying in any second. There it is. And uh, we know we've got, we've got a, a nice little in, in inclusion there. Um, hope that you um, 
uh, find these little tips useful um, for collecting your goo do stick at it do log on regularly and you will find that you can get a lot more than you think you can and of course if you haven't got um, enough friends on origin to do this you're welcome to stick a comment in this video and you know have, have a look down in, in the comment sections and you, you guys are welcome to add each other I'm afraid I haven't got room to add you guys but you're, you're more than welcome to use this as a place to um, advertise your services so good luck with your um, goo collecting it is possible but you do need to get cracking and like I said the main method you're gonna be using to increase your totals is adding friends and visiting to them it is time-consuming do it when you're watching TV I've I've been kind of you know watching an hour's program each night and just going visiting visiting friend after friend after friend trying to get 11 each time or maybe more um, and uh, then moving on and the lovely thing about the uh, the gremlins of course is you log off and then you log back on later and all those gremlins have finished what they're doing and you log on you get an extra 200 goo just for logging on um, which has definitely moved me towards the um, prizes hope you found this helpful hope you enjoyed the little look at the prizes um, do feel free to use the comment section to try and get more buddies on your origin lists take care and I'll see you soon bye bye